Hey guys, this is my hardware review of the Samsung Galaxy S GTI 9000 uh, which runs on Android version 2.2.1 with uh, TouchWiz 3.0. Uh, basically the phone runs on a 1 GHz processor which can be overclocked up to 1.5 GHz. It also has a very powerful graphics processing unit and is capable of uh, up to 90 million triangles per second. The phone is very fast and uh, it has a 512 MB RAM with uh, 384 MB dedicated and 128 MB 1D RAM. Uh, the internal flash memory of the phone is between 8 to 16 gigabytes while the external memory can be extended up to 32 gigabytes with the micro SD card. The phone is very responsive due to the high RAM um, and uh, the screen is 4 inches and uh, it is a multi-touch capacitive touch screen uh, with uh, super AMOLED display as they say. It, it also has DivX which is capable of displaying HD videos. Uh, the screen resolution is 480 by 800 uh, and is covered by a special type of material called Gorilla Glass which is uh, scratch resistant and crack resistant material. Other features include a uh, 3-axis accelerometer, 3-axis gyroscope and um, digital compass. Uh, the rear-facing 5 megapixel camera records 720p HD video while the front-facing one records VGA. It is very thin and very light. It is the thinnest Android phone ever made and it is lighter than the, uh, the iPhone 4. I'll hopefully put the weight. I think it's around 4.2 to 5.5 ounces. Uh, anyways, I'll confirm it and put it in the description below. You can also download loads and loads of free apps uh, as well as the paid apps uh, from the Android Marketplace which is a very good feature on the Android phones. Uh, the other, other cool stuff includes uh, uh, live wallpapers as well as a uh, special thing called uh, swipe keypad. I also hope I'll put I'll make another video on uh, these uh, cool apps and other stuff on this phone. So this is my review of uh, the Samsung Galaxy S. I I hope you like the video. Peace.